case of retreatment to mandibular second molar with a C-shaped canal configuration. Here after removal of all the restoration, now we are exploring the old gutta perca in the pulp chamber. Some gutta perca were inserted as single cones, so I am moving using a micro tweezer. With ultrasonics, while coolant is open, I'm cleaning the pulp chamber. Here you can see the C-shaped configuration. Using a larger taper file, I started to remove all the gutta perca from the distal portion of the canal. And you can see here some pus secretion in the isthmus. Using ultrasonics with flashing, removing the remnant of gutta perca from the pulp space. Exploring the MESD anatomy using a DG16 probe, and you can see that the MESD canal was already vital. Leading in the isthmus, glide path preparation to the MESD canal using the size file size 17 taper 4, stroking motion with passive insertion to the file into the canal. Cleaning the isthmus using ultrasonics. This kind of cases is very challenging in terms of cleaning and disinfection and also in terms of obturation. Good irrigation, to sodium hypochlorite. Then activation to sodium hypochlorite using the ultrasonic. To allow deep penetration of the irrigant deep into the dynamic tubules. And as long as we're going deep into the canal, I'm relying more on sonic activation just for safety. Final flush. After drying the canal, I am putting my pyoceramic sealer into the canals. For sure, some moisture may be remaining into isthmus area. That's why pyoceramic Duration technique is preferred in this kind of cases. Here is the pie ceramic. Insertion of the master cones. In this case, I used the passive lateral combustion technique for filling the spaces. Without any use of spreaders. I'm just using more cones of gutta perca to push sealer more in the spaces. With heat carrier on low temperature, I'm sealing off the master cones. Compaction using Seattle plugger. Master cool in the Mesdi canal. Cutting the master cool at orifice level.
packs them using suitable plugger. And here is the case after completing obturation. And you can see that we have nicely filled C-shaped canal. Now you can see, fill the main canals and the isthmus also is filled. Thanks to the passive hydraulic condensation using a bioceramic sealer, this is what we are calling 3D cleaning and 3D obturation. Another case of retreatment to maxillary second molar. From the pre-orta videograph, we can see preapical lesion related to the mesial aspect of the tooth. With deep lock, with more inspection to the radiograph, we can also see possibility of mesoanatomy. Here is the access cavity after removing the old restoration. We can clearly see the site of mesoanatomy, anatomy and it was very interesting to find another mesopalatal canal in this model. Here I started to remove single cones using a micro tweezer to avoid cutting it by rotaries and leaving remnant into the root canal system. Some gutta cocoons removed as one unit by rotaries. And this is cleaned buccal canals. And here are palatal canals also cleaned. Now I'm showing you injection of pyoceramic sealer into the palatal canals. And we can clearly see filling of the isthmus in between the two canals. And here is the case after obturation and filling to the canals. And this is the radiographic workflow. In the palatal root, you can see a filled island between the two palatal canals. Thanks to the passive hydraulic condensation using pyoceramic sealer to allow sufficient 3D obturation to the root canal space. This is the last case for today. Root canal treatment to tooth number 24 with symptomatic irreversible bites and normal periapical area.